Today, we're looking at the DGT North American. DGT is one of the worldwide leaders in uh, electronic chess and chess timers, and uh, they make a great chess clock. Uh, one of the, the downsides of DGT might be that they are based in the Netherlands, and so they gear most of their preset timing modes to uh, International Chess Federation standards or tournaments that are common uh, in Europe. Often here in North America, we will have different common settings for uh, maybe a Swiss tournament or other type of tournament. And so what they've come up with is this North American version of the clock. And this will have preset most of the commonly used settings here in North American tournaments or in North American play. So this is a great uh, idea from DGT to accommodate those here in the uh, North America. Like the other DGT clocks, this clock has a single lever that moves back and forth. This is a, one of the quiet clocks like the XL or the 2000. Uh, also the, with the capability of this, you can turn the sound off or on like with most of their clocks. On the bottom of this clock, you'll see uh, the 23 different timing options you can select. And they're listed here as well as on the back page of the manual. Gives you a little idea here also on how to turn the sound off or on, check the move, stop and pause the clock, everything that you need. So if you lose the manual, you've got everything recorded there. To turn this one on, you push this button here. And what will pop up is the first of the 23 user modes. Now we can scroll through those using the plus or minus uh, buttons here on the clock. And again, if you want to refer to what each of those 23 do, when you get this manual, you'll be able to look at that over at the bottom of the clock. Now, if you wanted the first mode, which happens to be a single control fixed game, and it's a five minute blitz game, you can select that by pressing this check mark here. It pulls up five minutes on each side. Uh, you can choose which side will play white, which side will play uh, the dark pieces. And then when you're ready, press the play button, and there you go, the game's underway. If you need to pause the clock, you can press the play button again. Start back up again. Now you can turn the sound on to where when it gets to the last 10 seconds it will start to beep uh, or you can leave that turned off. Right now we have that turned off. At any time you want to have a move counter, you can press this. You can see we're on the first move. Uh, now we're on the second move and so forth. You can have a move counter that goes through. Uh, in this case we're going to stop this. To reset this clock, you do just have to turn it off and then turn it back on, comes back up to one. Now, the second timing mode here, we're gonna go to number two, it's also a one-time control and this is a manual setting that you can set and then it will be saved in that setting each time you turn the clock back on until you save a new one. The same is true with all 10 timing modes that this has. In each one of them, there's at least one pre-programmed time built in and uh, in some cases more than one and then at the end of that there's always a manual setting so 10 of the 23 uh, timer modes you have here are manual settings that you can set so let's pick this and you'll notice it pops up right away into an edit mode the zeros flashing in this case we have it set to a 15 minute game fixed game and let's say we wanted to to change that and uh, maybe go to a 20 minute game so we're going to come and make that 20 minutes no seconds I could set the time different for each side here if you have a want to handicap a game with a stronger or weaker player. Okay, once you're ready to go, all you have to do is press this and the clock starts timing down. Again, works the same as it did with the five minute which one was the program. Now if I turn this off and then back on, pops back up to the mode that we were in. I'm going to select that and it's still saved at that 20 minutes and will be until I record uh, a different game over that. Now, some of the timer settings in this include what we've seen here is just kind of a single time control. Uh, you have the option for a single time control also with a sudden death. So you may want to pick you know, a certain uh, predetermined number of moves, let's say 40 moves in two hours with the remainder of the game in an hour. You can set that. Uh, that happens to be uh, the default is two hours and, and uh, followed by 30 minutes, but you could set the manual one in that one to an hour. We have, uh, you have the option for two time controls plus sudden death. Uh, one time control plus repeating time and so on and so forth. It, it, this does have the Fisher bonus time. It has the delay uh, where you can add the delay into a number of preset times as well as a manual setting for that as well. So you can really set a lot of programs here. Let's uh, reset this again. Turn it back on. Okay. This time we are going to go to uh, number three. 
Now number three, in this case, if we looked on the back of the clock or on the manual, uh, we see that that is one time control plus sudden death. And it's preset for two hours with a 30 minute sudden death. So we can select that, there's our two hours. Now if we started this game, we could, and, uh, and after that time's allotted, then each, each side will be given that 30 minutes for sudden death. However, if we wanted to change the time for this mode, then what we would do is stop this, reset the clock, and we would go to number four which is still the single time plus uh, one, uh, in a single time number moves and a single time plus uh, one extra uh, sudden death time. So we would select that. Now it's up for us to program. We can set that to whatever we want. Maybe we want to have that be a one hour. And we'll set that one to one hour for both sides. Now, then we have the second time control in this setting. We're going to put that maybe, let's say, to 30 minutes. So both sides would get that 30 minutes, no seconds. There you are, you're ready to go. Press play and you're off. Again, it's a very quiet clock. Comes with most of the, uh, the tournament settings that we'll find here in North America. It's a great deal. It's a very wide base, very stable clock. Uh, one of the clearer displays of any clock that I've seen. I think you'll be happy with this. It comes with the DGT warranty. Um, and uh, I think uh, for those that want to play in tournaments as well as just personal games, this is a great clock.